Well, I have to tell you, for a young woman in politics, Deb Gray was one of the heroes that I looked up to. She just had such a battle and such a fight when she first went to Ottawa as the first reform MP, and I think she really paved the way for women to, to be able to take on leadership roles in politics. I'm, I'm delighted that she has endorsed our party. I think that that is a, a fantastic news. Part of the what gave rise to the Reform Party sweeping through the West was the fact that we had a PC party federally that stopped being conservative. It was out of touch, it was overspending, it was racking up debt, it was raising taxes, and it was out of touch with what uh, Canadians and certainly Westerners wanted their federal government to do. We're seeing the exact same thing playing out at the provincial level. A government that is spending out of control, blowing our savings, blowing our resource revenue, and now talking about increasing taxes, but doesn't want to have the conversation until after the election. I think that that is the kind of thing that has caused Albertans to wonder whether or not this party truly represents them anymore, and I, I think most people are coming to the conclusion that the PCs absolutely do not deserve another majority government. I, I just met Ray as we were going through the process of interviewing our Senate candidates and I'm just so excited to be able to have someone who understands energy industry issues, somebody who understands rural issues, someone who understands northern issues. I think his voice is tremendously needed in Ottawa in the Senate chamber and I'm really looking forward to seeing him as an elected Wild Rose Senate candidate. We've got a third Senate candidate today, so that's a full slate. How do you feel about the three of them? We, I think we've got a really good balance on what, on all of the different issues that, that are facing Alberta. We've got a candidate from Calgary we've got a, a, who used to be a, a police officer and worked in the, in the justice area. And he's been a long-time activist in politics, so he's got a, an incredible perspective, not only from having been a public servant in a different role, but also having worked in, in politics. Uh, Vitor Marciano is, a, is our candidate from the Edmonton area, and he has incredible experience in politics as well and also working as an advocate for a variety of different industry groups. And then, of course, uh, Ray, Ray Germain, uh, representing rural north. I, I, I think it's pretty exciting to be able to put forward a team of candidates like this who have such a different backgrounds, different perspectives. That's what we want to, to bring to, to public office. If you look at our Senate candidates, if you look at our 87 candidates for Wild Rose MLAs as well, we, we aren't career politicians. We're people who have an interest in politics, an interest in public service, but we come from a variety of different backgrounds doing real things. And I think that that is what is going to appeal to a lot of Albertans. I'm pretty excited about hopefully sending three Wild Rose Senate candidates to Ottawa and a, a, a large number of Wild Rose MLAs to the legislature after the next election as well. Well, what I would say is that the polls have been very... Uh, they've been swung wildly over the last number of months. I mean, just a month ago, we saw the PCs bragging that they were going to win 82 seats on the basis of the results. So that's how quickly things can change, and we know things can change a lot over the course of a 28-day rip period. We've got 26 days of campaigning to go. We are not taking anything for granted. We're going to continue running our campaigns like we're 10 points behind, and we're going to make sure that we're fighting to earn every single vote. We, we know we have a lot of, of work to do to continue to earn the trust of Albertans. I think that most Albertans are beginning to realize that uh, the, the kind of change Ms. Redford wants is not the kind of change that Albertans want. She's already, she gave a speech yesterday talking about how she wants to make decisions that will change the character of Alberta. Well, I don't think Albertans need to be changed. I think that what needs to be changed is our government, and I think people are going to come around to that point of view as well. I think increasingly we're seeing that. We'll see what happens on election night.